Good morning, Donna here from Bigsby Sewing Center. Welcome to Madison Quilt Expo. I want to go over a couple of things with you today on the Bernina sit down long arm. Everything I'm going to talk about today applies to both the sit down and the stand up. And we're going to go over a few of the different feet and features of this machine that are going to make you absolutely fall in love and have to have one. So today I'm sewing on the Q16. 16 simply means 16 inches of space. There's the Q16, the Q20, and the Q24. This is Bernina's newest little baby. It is in the adjustable foldable table. It can also go in the horn electric lift table. There's just an extra little piece that goes in. It's gonna sit a little bit closer to the front, but it is interchangeable with our different tables. Um, one of the best features of the Bernina sit down long arm is its needle system. My favorite needle of all time is a 9014 quilting needle. So using a regular sewing machine needle makes this a dream to use because it can only go in with the flat back to the back. There's no mistaking whether you have that needle in at just the right angle. That makes all the difference in the world when you're you're trying to dial in your tension and get sewing for the first time of the day. Um, using a regular standard flat back sewing needle also means that I can use a knit needle, a jeans needle, any kind of needle that I need for the project that I'm working on, I can simply buy a regular sewing machine needle and put it in and away I go. It also allows me to use lots of different threads because I can use an 80 needle, a 70 needle if I'm going to do a real fine thread, a 100 needle. The options for dialing in perfect stitching is uh, bar none better than this. So needles. Quilting is my favorite, 9014. I tend to use a 40 or 50 weight thread for most of the sewing that I do, but it really doesn't matter. You'll find your own favorite. Um, so needles, that's number one. Number two, you can see I have a bobbin right here on the side of the machine. A lot of people don't realize that most long arms do not come with a bobbin winder. It's something that you purchase separately. Bernina has incorporated one right on board the machine. And you can see I could just wind my own bobbin. Now I do tend to like to use the same bobbin on the top and bottom. Uh, there are some times um, if I have to change my upper thread to lots of different colors, I then tend to choose just one neutral color for the back of my quilt so I don't have um, like 10 different colors on the back of my quilt. Um, but, so bobbin winder built right on board. The other thing I wanna point out to you is the thread path right here. There's no back getting up, having to go to the back of my machine, coming through pre-tensioning units. It's just right here. I can put my thread on, open my door. It's just a very simple thread path. It does have the semi-automatic needle threader, so if you've sewn on a Bernina before, it's identical to uh, other machines that you have used. So that's it, right here. If I want to pull my bobbin thread to the top, I just use my heel and push down one time. It brings my bobbin thread up. And I'm gonna stop talking and just stitch for a moment. I'm gonna put my foot on the gas and away I go. Listen to that, isn't that amazing? Bernina's stitch regulators are built in underneath the stitch plate. So they're actually two laser lights pointing up at the back of the fabric. There's one on both sides of the needle. And so as you're moving your project, they are watching and sensing how fast you're moving and it's adjusting its stitch length and width based on how fast or how slow you're moving. I shouldn't say width. There really is no width unless you were, um, uh, going to do a twin needle stitch, uh, and that would just depend on the size. Speaking of which, twin needles, this machine can sew with a twin needle because, right, it's a flat back needle, so you can select um, 
a twin needle and use that, you're gonna have a zigzag then on the back of your quilt. This is the standard foot that comes on the machine. It is um, a closed toe. It is universal. The, the uh, feet are interchangeable between the domestic sewing machine Berninas and the long arm. So that means that we can use lots of different feet. In fact, I have a few that we're going to look at today. The first one is the number 72 adjustable ruler foot. This one is the number 73 adjustable height open toe stipple foot. And this is the number 74 adjustable height clear uh, sewing foot. And its claim to fame is that it will go up over different layers of fabric. So if you have applique or very um, thick seams that you need to ride up over, that will be your choice. So I'm gonna go ahead right now and I am going to bring my needle up. Lift my presser foot. The, the um, front of the screen is completely a touch screen. So I'm going to pull this, the fabric out from underneath like so. And to change a foot on a Bernina, it's simply a lever that I'm pushing and the foot drops off. There are no tools required. So I'm going to select the number 72 ruler foot right now, and we're going to put that on the machine. And I'm going to click it so it's sturdy. Again, the, on all of these feet, the adjustable height feet, there is a gold dial. And that dial will allow you to raise and lower the foot slightly to accommodate different thicknesses of batting and projects. So. While the fabric is off, I can show you here my two stitch regulators. And when I'm stitching, they both shine red. So if you had a light color fabric, you could actually see them coming through um, the fabric. So we're gonna go back and put our, our project underneath our needle. And I'm gonna trim my threads here because nothing goes worse than catching on a thread. So the key to ruler work or template work, if you've been doing this a long time, you called it ruler work, and now the correct term is uh, template. The, the key to, to successful quilting is practice, um, number one. Number two, you must keep the ruler tight up against the foot when you start. So the, the presser foot needs to be down. You're not gonna be starting to stitch and then putting that ruler up. Before you start stitching, you wanna make sure you have control of the fabric and the ruler and the fabric. So I put my foot on the gas. I'm gonna take a couple stitches. The other thing that, that is most beneficial to ruler work is being in BSR2 mode, um, which allows for you to hesitate and stop and um, change directions without continuing to stitch in place over and over. So I'm gonna stop talking and um, I'm going to use my ruler and I'm going to stitch a straight line. This foot allows for the ruler to go 365 degrees around the foot. So it doesn't, or 360, I don't know where I got the extra five. <laughs> um, so you can see each time I come to a stop, reposition my hands and then continue to sew. You would never keep sewing and moving at the same time, you know, stop sewing and moving. So all I am doing is just changing the direction. I could actually bring it over this way. Any side of the ruler that you are comfortable with, is usable. So now I've done a little bit of ruler work. If I wanted to, if I were good enough or fancy enough or had the time, I would fill in that section I can fill in my ruler work with some free motion quilting. I don't have to change the foot. I can leave this on, 
But this foot is uh, really a must have. Uh, again, I'm showing you on the Q16 just how easy it is with all this open space. But this foot uh, is available for the domestic machine as well. Uh, also, you will find it good news that uh, Bernina is coming out with a ruler foot for the older models. So if you have an older model, Bernina, you know that some of these feet are not available, were not available for your machine. They are now available, so you can give us a call and we can fill you on, uh, on those details. So using my heel tap, I'm going to bring my needle up. Again, I'm going to pull my fabric, my project out, and we're going to change the foot. I'm going to take the 72 foot off now and let's take a look at the number 73 open toe stipple foot. So it's a lot like the 24 foot except you can see the space is really large. Uh, they also made the finish on this foot matte so the strong LED lights are not reflecting back at you and blinding you. Um, the edges are also beveled a little bit, you can't quite see. And so that prevents you from hooking on a seam when you are um, doing your free motion quilting. Having a nice open toe foot is really vitally important, uh, especially when you're new starting to stipple. You don't know sometimes which direction you're gonna go next and being able to have clear visibility is really helpful. So I'm gonna trim my threads here. And again, one heel tap is going to bring my thread to the top. This time I'm going to switch to BSR mode one. And the difference between BSR one and two is simply BSR mode one, the needle will continue to stitch in place if I come to a standstill. So if I'm doing a leaf that has a point on it, I really want that one extra stitch in that corner stippling or something small or perhaps you you're not sure where you're going to go next the needle will actually hesitate and wait for you so I'm going to take a few stitches here stop and while I'm doing this I'm also going to introduce you to the Bernina gripper rings there's a set of two and they have a rubberized back and they're designed to just fit right over the foot so you don't have to cut your thread and, and start again. If you want to use one, you can just slide it on and off. And so it makes controlling your fabric and neck stress a whole lot easier. So these are handles to use. I've actually come to just relax my hand. Gripper rings also allow you to stitch up to the edge. You can see that my gripper ring is actually off the edge of my fabric, and that's okay because it's got all of this pressure around the outside, so it really allows you to get right up near the edge. You can see my red BSR light there poking through. And you can hear my machine speed up and slow down. It's just responding how fast or how slowly I am moving. So the key is always to stop, reposition the ring, and then continue on. So it comes as a set of two. I think they retail for 150. Um, during the expo, um, Bigsby's is offering 25% off on lo all long arm accessories. So all you have to do is give us a jingle and we'd be happy to help you with that. Uh, so this foot really gives you a large amount of visibility, strength, and um, options. So this also is good for your regular domestic machine. So one heel tap on the gas pedal brings my needle up. I'm going to cut my thread and I'm going to change to the next foot. Again, no tools needed. I'm just going to press the lever, take my foot off, and on goes the number 74. 
The 74 has a large enough uh, opening, so if you wanted to use it with your twin needle, you could. So one tap of the heel brings my bobbin thread up. And I always pull them down through the hole and I hold them. You know, when you start, even on your domestic machine, you do want to hold those threads. I'm not pulling them tight, but they're just, uh, just enough tension to keep the machine from pulling the threads back down when I start stitching. So I'm going to take a few stitches here. So this foot allows maximum visibility. It also has a curve to the bottom. So again, if I had multiple seams coming together and I was fearful that my foot would catch on a seam, this is my go-to foot for that. Um, it will allow me to just um, go right over them. I can see where I'm going. There are a few hash marks on it so that I can use it for keeping myself straight on a seam line. So those are Bernina's three adjustable height feet. They're completely interchangeable with the long arm and the domestic. 72 ruler foot and, and remember this you must have this foot. You cannot do template or ruler work with a regular foot. So this foot if you have this at home this does not work. It will go up. The ruler will go up over the foot and if you hit that with your needle, the least damage you are going to do is to break a needle. Um, most likely you're gonna do something else. So um, use the right tool for the right job, okay? So I'm gonna take a little break here and I'm going to now move on to some other aspects in the store and give you a kind of sneak peek of other things that we have going on here at Bigsby Sewing Center. Thank you.